that is entertainment, education, inspiration. You can call it so many things. It is looking for Lilith. I'm so proud of the work that they do, and I have watch them at times and just been awestruck. I want to welcome my guests who are here. Uh, I, I'm just so very proud of them. Shannon Woolley Allison here, co-artistic director, along with Morgan Young, who is a here ensemble member, and Jennifer Thalman Kepler, co-artistic director. I feel like I haven't seen you all in a while. It's been a little while. But now you're getting ready to kick off a new season. Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Well, we've got lots of things going on. We're calling it a season of community because we are focusing on our work with people in communities as opposed to the traditional performer audience relationship. Um, one of the things we're going to be doing is called the Ancestors Project through Kentucky Foundation for Women and Metro Government. We have funding to lead workshops in communities where people who might not consider themselves theater artists can bring a story of an ancestor and we'll guide them in creating a short performance piece. And we're going to be doing that over the course of the whole season. So that's one of the things that we're up to. That's yeah. really an exciting because in some um, communities, and I, I'm just kind of just thinking of, of my own uh, family, we tried to find our ancestors, mm -hmm. and it was really hard because in African American families were sold off. Mm -hmm. So we got to a certain point, and then they went, okay, this is going to be hard mm -hmm. because it's word of mouth. Mm -hmm. It is... Um, senses mm -hmm. and just different things like that and it was so hard and so I really wish I would have recorded the things my grandparents said and I didn't I'm so sorry about that that my heart breaks every day I swear to you it does Dawn mm -hmm. you should come to one of these workshops and share the story of your grandmother uh, well they used to tell us everything yeah my grandma and my granddad said this was aunt so-and-so and she lived here and she had this child and this child was a slave of this per they gave us all the names yeah I didn't record it and I just want to go <laughs> like why didn't I record it how can people be part of that check our website we're going to be scheduling them throughout the rest of the season in all corners of the city and out into the state some so yes. be checking our website yeah there it is all right so you're going to be doing that uh, Morgan as an ensemble member what does that mean well uh, I am a company member I am committed to the work that looking for Lilith does we meet um, regularly we vote together we plan out the season together um, this year we did a roll on the wall and we put up our dreams and things that we wanted to do as a company and um, a couple of my projects were um, selected so this season we are working on um, blackberries blackberries which is gonna be an original work um, a one-woman show um, built around the short stories and poetry of Crystal E. Wilkinson, um, uh, the Kentucky's Poet Laureate. Yes, and um, I just, in college, I got to read her book, Blackberries, Blackberries, and immediately I saw it on stage, and I was like, well, somebody should do this, and I'm like, wow. How much this? work is that, though? How much? It's a lot of work. Okay. I have that feeling. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's nice. Somebody should do that. Okay, what kind of work is that? But that is why I am a company member and not just an individual artist, because we have this team together. We're going to uh, have a devising team. A group of us are going to meet just like you would with a regular play rehearsal uh, three times, four times a week, um, doing the research, reading the books, coming together, picking it out, doing the editing. So it's not just me doing the work but a whole team of us, um, just like you would a cast with a director and everything. So we're really excited.
excited about that work and kind of do a little book club with it too. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're also excited for spring break this um, year. Uh, we're doing, we're bringing back Hip Hop Hercules, which is an original script that I wrote. And um, thanks to the Kentucky Foundation for Women, I was able to do a summer camp, not this past summer, but the summer before. And I really wanted to do it again. It's a script that I wrote for students to um, learn some Greek history, learn some hip hop history, and put those together in um, the trials of Hercules. And the students get an opportunity to actually uh, rap battle against each other. And if they win the rap battle, their um, verse gets to be in the play. So they also become writers in that regard. And just um, drawing those lines between poetry and hip hop and rap. So it's fun and that's, historical. That's so funny. Who knew that Greek history and hip hop fit together? Like like that? Together. So, well. All right, Miss Jennifer, uh, in, in your mind's eye as this season starts, what do you want to share? Um, we, I'm ex excited about our Girls Speak program. We just this summer uh, worked with Adelante Hispanic Achievers to create a play and fully produce it in a theatrical space. We've worked with them for six years, but we have and created a play with the girls about whatever they want to create the play about. So it's about their experiences, most often about their experiences as immigrant families. Uh, children from immigrant families and this year we were able to p take that show into the max and fully produce it lights set all the things <laughs> um, and it was so wonderful to see them um, live or uh, step up to that moment um, normally we just do it as a reading like in a room with their families but it was this was like fully produced so we're That's we're amazing. we're hoping to continue to bring that program into uh, the more more public performances for that program where we work in in after schools and summer camps to work with young people to create their own play about whatever they want to create the play about so we use the devising process that we'll use for blackberries blackberries and the ancestors, ancestors project and, and bring it to a group of students for them to create a play about whatever they want to create a play about whatever they're concerned about well it, it's exciting because chef's daughter is part of it and then somebody in the groom room was like oh my gosh my niece and so you have kids that are doing so much and I just want to make sure people know looking for Lilith.org you see uh, the website there that you all handle tough things yeah. um, like bullying what do you do and you look at it not only from the person being bullied but why is the bully doing this? And mm -hmm. what would you do? And how would you handle this? And why is this hap hap You handle everything that is t tough for a young person to, to deal with. Uh, reflecting, resisting, revitalizing. They're getting ready to start the new season. And you should check out what they do. Go to lookingforlilith.org. We didn't get even... Point oh two of it in, but did I forget anything that you want to make sure that you share? Well, we had a, a big celebration. Oh, you got an award! Season. I yeah. remember that you got a big award. Yes, the Sally Bingham Award from the Kentucky Foundation yes. for Women, which is a yearly award given to a Kentucky artist that has a body of work that has made a difference, and we were really honored because it's the first time that the award was given to an organization rather than an individual. Yeah which just really speaks to like who we are and what we do mm -hmm. as an organization. Did you all hear me screaming? <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited by that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we should be so proud uh, of them and for them. Looking for Lilith.org. Get involved, see what you can do, but more than anything, just support them. I thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. I thank you all so, so very much.